Ach, jetzt fein. Dann, 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 dann. <lacht> Are we good? Audio good? Kamera rolling? Kamera rolling and frame is perfect. Hi fellow YouTubers, uh, today we're talking the X-T4. I have it here on the cage, uh, probably you might not see it properly. But let's talk um, about the recent thing, which is the firmware update. There's a couple of things on the firmware update that they have added, but the best one for me, and probably for the videographers out there, it's about updating the shut off, uh, should I call it time, uh, for overheating. So apparently on this firmware version 1.20, Fujifilm has sort of extended the time before the camera shuts off. Is this a gimmick? Let's check. Before we actually do that, on right here on this video, I just want to send a big appreciation to all my subscribers up there. We have hit a hundred. So thank you very much to all of you. So um, let's see if this is a gimmick what uh, Fujifilm are saying that the uh, firmware 1.20 will do. So first, um, I'll just go on a basic thing as to how to download uh, the firmware and how to install it. So the steps to download the firmware is quite simple. You just go to your website, www.fujifilm.com. Um, this is the landing page or the home page. Then you go down to support then on here you go to download software and firmware there you click the firmware and you will go down or let's do here at the top you just choose the x series and then you look for your xt4 okay you go scroll down um there is where you have to there we are agree then download so it's quite quick because it's a it's a, actually a data file so it's done so once it's done take this file and then drop it onto the root folder of your sd card um the root folder means you don't actually put it in any folder on your sd card you just drag drop onto the sd card um they do recommend that you format the sd card i never formatted my sd card i just drop it and then take the sd card and put it on the fujifilm so let's look on the camera how do you do the firmware update then i get on to the xt4 it has two slots i normally take out all the, the 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 sd cards that are here and only use one i put it on slot one i'm not sure if it works on two i don't know i'll put it on slot one as is okay this is how we actually put it Okay, then after putting your SD card in, you hold your display or back button, display back button, it's one button. You hold it while you're switching your camera on. And this is how you do it. Then the menu will pop up and it will show you the latest or the current version. And then the version that you want to upgrade to, which is the version that is on the SD card. Then just follow the prompt. When it's done after the few minutes, it will ask you to switch off the camera. After switching it off, then switch it on again. Then go to your menu. Uh, then go to the spanner, which is the setup. Power management, go in there. At the bottom, you'll see auto power off temperature or temp. And by default, it's on high. If you go in there, you'll see the standard and there is high. So we're gonna put it on high, okay. So you don't have to break your camera. I did that for you. I went and I ran my camera until it dies. So if you could remember or if you haven't watched, up here there is a link and down here on the description, uh, it is a video where I was testing the battery endurance of the X-T4. In the same video, I actually tested the cutoff time uh, in terms of heating. So um, if we go back, uh, you will remember, if you haven't watched it, after this you can watch it. Uh, the Fujifilm X-T4, I was shooting backup, which means um, using two camera slots. It was on 4K, 
uh, 50 frames per second. I'm in Nepal country. And then what was the settings again? Th that was that. Uh, it was a, I was shooting 10 bits also. And also I activated the eye auto on, put it in front of a TV so that there is an activity going uh, so that the camera keeps working. So I basically did the same today so that I can actually have apples and apples and measure them. So in that video, um, the Fujifilm X-T4 went up until in 32 minutes, we started seeing the temperature being amber, warning you. And then after about 52 minutes, it actually showed the red. And in that video, I switched it off. But behind the scene, I actually ran it a little bit more and it went almost to one hour. That was with the previous version. So now I ran the camera, same settings, right into two cards and 50 frames per second on 4K. So I didn't do the high definition. If 4K you can get more, definitely you'll get more on full high definition, which is your 1080p. So the camera ran, remember also it uh, on 4K 50, it actually um, records 20 minutes cut, 20 minutes cut. So I, uh, it went to 40 minutes without cutting and it went further to about almost 55 minutes. Then it started to show the red um, temperature as if like now it is very hot. But then I left it and it ran to the next 20 minutes where it cut, which is a full one hour. After that one hour, um, I actually clicked the record again and nothing happened. There was a message saying the camera is hot. So I switched it off literally less than 10 seconds. I'll say between five and 10 seconds and switched it on. Voila, the temperature was on amber, the two dots. Um, here they are on the screen. This is what I'm talking about. And then it went on and recorded up until almost 15 minutes to be exact. It was 14 minutes and 30 seconds. Then the camera switched off. I did the same trick of switching it off and on again. It went about nine minutes and then it stopped. So I thought, let me not break this camera. So I would say it is not a gimmick. Uh, you probably can get about 20 to 24 minutes, depending also on your environment. So let me just bring the environment on this. I was shooting in my bedroom and um, my bedroom gets a bit of sun, so it was warm. If I were to say it was more than a, a normal room temperature of 23, so I'll say around maybe 24, 25 degrees Celsius. So depending on where you're shooting, definitely if you're shooting out in a full sun and you're not under the shade, then you'll get different results. If you're shooting where it is cold, you'll definitely get a uh, different result. So guys, uh, the firmware for the Fujifilm X-T4 version 1.20 definitely gives you a little bit extra when it comes to temperature. And yes, the camera was very hot, but if they said it will work, I didn't care. So guys, thank you very much for watching my video and please subscribe, ring the bell up here or where somewhere there will be a bell. Just ring it so that next time you can get some of this stuff that I have done the teachings, the learnings. This is Kakiso M. I'm out of here. Your dogs are barking, it's gonna be okay. Ah, it's fine. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> are we good? Audio good? Audio Camera rolling? Camera rolling and frame is perfect. Uh, just make it go okay.